Today we are going to talk about the new Physician's Formula Diamond Filler Lip and Cheek. This is a fun product. I do have it on right now. I will walk you through the application process, my thoughts. Um, this is the new Physician's Formula Diamond Filler Lip and Cheek color. Now I got this through, I don't know, it's called Skeepers now. If you do makeup reviews or you know you have like, you, you don't even have to be like big or anything. You just have to have good engagement or whatever. Um, go sign up for it because you have an opportunity to get things for free and things to try out. Now you have to bid for it though. It's not like they were like, ooh, Anna, she likes blushes. I'm gonna send her this. No, I wish it was that way, but it's not. I bid for this, I got it. So I was sent this to review and I wanted to make a video on it because I genuinely like Physicians Formulas blushes. I've purchased a ton in the past. I will link a couple of videos where I've talked about them. They always have good blushes, decent highlighters. Their complexion products have gotten better. Their concealer is great. This one, where is it? This one is really freaking good. It like, I don't know if it claims to set itself, but it definitely sets itself. So. I wanna try this, let's try it together. This is the packaging, it's very, very cute. It is in the color Radiant Pink. Now, I saw, what's her name, Viennese Strict talk about the things, and she bought them. And I'm like, if this is good, I think I'm gonna order some more stuff. I, let's swatch, I am so excited. Okay, I love that it comes in like this little doe foot applicator. It's supposed to be a dewy formula, so. That is a color, let's blend. Feels like a serum. Has a beautiful shine. That's a gorgeous color. Even though it's a pink, it's almost like a rosy, like a rosy brownish kind of pink. So really pretty. It could be lips and cheeks. I'm gonna throw it on my cheeks, we'll check out my lips. Actually, I'll just put some on my lips right now because I have a little bit on the back of my hand. And, oh, it's pretty. It doesn't really smell like anything. It has kind of like a sweet smell, but not an obnoxious, obnoxiously sweet smell. I know sometimes physicians formula, because their products are scented, it can bother some people, but this is not like, uh, not like how their bronzers are scented. That does feel nice. It actually does feel moisturizing because my lips were a little dry. A little bit nervous when I put this on, so that's a good sign. And what's in it that makes it like that? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's okay. It's got a mineral powder in it. It has hydrating, hydrating hyaluronic spheres, moisturizing tripeptide blend. I'm like tripeptide, tripeptide. It is moisturizing. That's that's good. Definitely did what I I, I didn't think it was gonna look like that. Okay. I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. I'm going to use this e.l.f. Actually, no. I'm gonna use a blush brush. This one's from e.l.f. I mentioned in a previous video, these brushes from e.l.f. are amazing. Over the years, I have collected, I probably have almost every single one. I don't know, but let's try this on. I am not dotting this to my face. It's not something that I like to do because it'll mess up my makeup or sometimes it just doesn't blend out right. It looks like it blends out nice here. My way of applying blush is when it comes to liquid or cream, it's always gonna go on the back of my hand. That's just like the makeup artist in me, I always do that. Finger, I'll kind of blend it out. Take a brush. The brush is always gonna pick up like the right amount and we can always build. So I am just picking up. Oh, that's pretty. It's pigmented too. Shoot. I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. So I kind of like, I lay it on and then I blend. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let's do the other side. This is beautiful. So I have tried their highlighter in the past. Um, it was like their last highlighter that was launched that was really good. Their um, bronzer, it was like a gel bronzer. That was really good too. And I believe they just launched like a bronzing oil serum kind of thing. And like a contour, contour kind of bronzer situation. 
very similar to like Charlotte Tilbury. It has the annoying, it has that annoying package as well, which I'm like, but the color looks really nice. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit more. All right, definitely, definitely nice. And you still have time to play around with it because as I'm applying it, you see I have like a little bit of a harsh line there. Just gonna go back and forth and it does soften a bit. I was not expecting that pigmentation. Thank God I used a brush like this and not like a really dense one because I would have had like two like circle cheeks that were pink. All right, I'm gonna do a little hi on the highlight concealer under the eyes just to get this a little more seamless. This is their Butter Glow Bronzer in medium to tan. This is amazing and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm gonna take one of these guys. This is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I like to use it for concealer. Again, on the back of my hand, I always do that. And I'm just gonna apply and then blend. I like this concealer a lot because it doesn't really crease as much and it stays in place and it has this funny way of like, I guess like setting itself. Like I said before, I don't know if it's targeted that way or if it's marketed that it sets itself, but a little bit goes a long way. The coverage is nice and I actually have a match in this color. I'm just gonna feather out the top just to soften the little like harsh line. It is a cool thing that I've been trying. I saw it on TikTok. The head artist, I think he's the global artist for Nude Sticks. I forgot his name, but he's like, he's so beautiful. Like, oh my God. He's got these great brows and everything. And he was talking about how he, uh, he does concealer last after bronzer and blush because it just has more of a seamless blend, which I think it does. So that's it. Really nice. Okay, so I know they launched another color. This is the one I got was a pink one. It's beautiful. It feels nice. It dries down. I don't think it's super dewy. It's it sits on the skin nice. It blends really nice. It's not drying or anything. It just sits nicely on the skin. It's very pigmented, surprisingly. It is hydrating because on my lips, it looks nice. It almost has like this soft air matte kind of lip color situation going on or like finish. So I do like that. Really nice. So go check it out. It's a good one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hi guys.